Hello there everyone, my name is Rexby and welcome back to some more Let's Play Professor Layton and Pandora's Box. We're on the search for a couple of photo scraps, but actually we're gonna go back and forth here to see if we can get Duke to be thirsty. And there we go. Let's talk with him. Hmm. What, what's the matter, Duke? Uh, stressing about something? Well, that's not too good. But, you know, yeah, it's true that tea does uh, relieve some stress, but he won't just drink anything. He has a very refined palate, so let's see if we can uh, figure out the right tea for him. He wants something sweet, sour, and bitter. Well, that's the bitter fruit tea. Complex and just what he wants. Yep, that's did the trick. So yeah, we uh, do know how to brew. And he gives us a bit of a tip. Uh, steer clear of the paranormal when talking to people in the town. Because the town is apparently cursed. And uh, yeah, people don't really like the paranormal stuff too much. Uh, uh, okay, th th thanks Max. Um, so now let's uh, head to the left here. And uh, we have another photo scrap here, actually. Which is uh, very nice. Yep, another piece of the photograph. Excellent. And, uh, oh, she's thirsty. That's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted too. What What do you need? Your circulation isn't good, so you're chilly. Uh, well, oh, that's not good. You're all cold. A nice cup of hot tea will definitely do the trick. And uh, so we'll give her the root remedy that should warm her up. Yep, that is it. Great, so uh, now uh, she's all toasty to the tips of her toes. Well, she's not exactly uh, recovered entirely, but... Oh, she has a cramp from shivering. Uh, well, that's uh, a bit unfortunate. Hmm. Uh, okay, just a trick of light behind my shoulder. Um, yeah, you, you, you go ahead and keep being weird. Um, let's talk with her again, actually, see if she has anything else interesting to say. Mm, warning people away from the castle. Oh, oh, right, yeah, it is impossible to go there. I, I believe that we uh, have talked about that already. So, never mind this. Uh, we, we read that before, I believe. Um, now, let's uh, head up, I think. And ah, there we go, another photo scrap. Good, yep. Our 11 piece, only five left. Uh, now let's head back down some more. And uh, yeah, we are really going all over the place, but what inspector is, oh, so she's, he's uh, now interrogating Vera here. So the only way is on the Molentary Express, so yeah, no one gets in and out without the train. Hmm. Yep, that does seem to be the case, huh? Interesting. So the Molentary Express is the one way in, huh? Well, yeah, if that's all, then uh, he leaves her alone again. Oh, yep, and uh, Barton uh, follows off behind him. So yeah, they can't really sit still. But uh, apparently she also invited them in for a show, but they didn't quite appreciate it. And uh, wow, there's another scrap here and Chomi didn't even see it. Ah, he really is very, very sloppy, isn't he? Um, let's uh, head down some more. Um, shouldn't... I, I, I think there should be a photo scrap somewhere close by here. If, if I'm not mistaken. Um, let's see. Oh, here, it's Niles. Uh, what are we doing? Well, we're looking for a piece of a term photograph, yeah. Ah, y you found one. Hmm, finders keepers, but if we solve this puzzle, we can have one. So, let's solve puzzle 101, Disappearing Act 1. Here's a classic puzzle. The rules are simple. 
You can move any ball on the board below as long as it satisfies the following conditions. To move, jump your selected ball over an adjacent space occupied by another ball into an empty space on the other side. You can't jump diagonally. Once you've made the jump, the ball you jumped over disappears from the board. To complete the puzzle, you must remove all balls from the board except for one. Okay, enough rules. Try it for yourself. So uh, yeah, we need to um, make some balls disappear basically. And uh, I'm gonna start by jumping this one over that uh, lets those two disappear there. And next up, um, I want to jump over here. Then we can jump over here, jump over here and jump like that. It's a pretty easy one for the first one, but hey, we'll take it. Huh, wonderful. So yeah, it's a, a puzzle known as Peg Solitaire. So yeah, he gets it, and uh, we get our photo scrap. So, how many do we have now? Okay, there are three left, so we now should have 13 then, which is uh, good. So, where do I want to go next? Um... I think I'm gonna go ahead and go down and uh, hey little girl have you found some because apparently kids are good at finding them oh, don't play on the edge of the forest I wasn't planning to but all right well uh, oh a vampire with big fangs huh the one that lives in Hurtson Castle well <laughs> yeah if we knew it why did we explain it but yeah I guess uh, Luke just wanted to make sure he knew what she was talking about but if you have some cross or garlic, you'll be right as rain. You know, actually, we spent some time in the garlic store, so maybe we smell enough like garlic to uh, put the vampire off. It's it's possible, you know. Oh, and uh, looks like she found another piece of the photograph, because she was just going to throw it out. Now, uh, let's uh, head in the store and see if Dawson has any for us. Oh, well, he is thirsty. Hmm. What's the matter, Dawson? Uh, a lot of items to appraise, but you're v way too fatigued. Well, you'll be more productive with after a cup of tea. You definitely will be. And we are going to give you the Cayenne Twilight, number 10. And that seems to have done the trick. So yeah, outstanding indeed. And uh, he actually has a rare and ancient text with a puzzle hidden inside. Hmm, interesting. I'll, uh, I'll uh, humor you and uh, look at the ancient map you have here. An ancient map depicts the possible spots of a vast fortune along with these directions. Inscribe the numbers 1 to 4, 1 to 6 in the map's blank spaces so that each set of numbers in a blank straight line has the same sum. This sum must be the largest one possible given the condition described above. Then grab your shovel and race to the spot marked 1 for it is there that your treasure resides. The number 4 has been filled in for you. Circle the spot where the treasure is hidden. So uh, we need to get the largest sum possible and um, since uh, it, we, we have a couple of straight lines. So for example, you have this line, you have this line, you have this line, and then you also have this line. So you have four lines that you need to cover. Uh, and you have the numbers uh, one to six, of course, to do it with. Um, and yeah, basically uh, the largest number that we could make would be a four and a six would be 10, right? Um, now another, that means that we need across here, we would need another um, uh, six, which can be done with a five and a one. However, if we put the five hit in the middle, we would have five plus six, so that wouldn't be any good. But we could put the one here and the five here. That means that diagonally, we now also have 10, uh, and horizontally, six plus one plus three would be 10, and then five plus three plus two would be 10. So there we would have all the lines uh, 
sum up to 10. And now we just need to know that in one lies the treasure. So the one circle we want to uh, go is this one. And now to test my theory. And there we have it. So yeah, there we go. We got it right. So yeah, well done. We uh, have given him some new hope for society, which is good, you know. Sometimes people lose hope too quickly, you know, when one person does something stupid and then people are like, ah, I have lost faith in humanity for this generation. And I mean, you know, you always have dumb people. So I, I think that's a bit too, um, bit too quick to ju judge generally. Uh, yeah, th thanks for the hint point. Uh, now let's uh, head down again. Again, actually, and uh, see if Rory knows anything. Hmm. What are we? Yeah, we are looking for something. Uh, has he seen any rubbish? Well, oh, he saw one over at the gate by the forest. So uh, we'll have to go there and uh, figure that out and pick that up. And he also met this girl who wanted to go to Hurtson Castle, huh? That could could that be Katja? Because uh, I believe she was, uh, we bumped into her earlier. Yeah, it seems to be the case. So, uh, interesting. And is she after the Duke's fortune? Well, that that seems odd. But, hey, she's definitely interested in, um, in something. But we'll uh, have to worry about that later. For now, let's just uh, grab the last piece of the photograph. So, we're going to go ahead and head up now some more even okay finally well went done. back and forth a whole lot of times but we finally have Niles thirsty and that's exactly what I needed so uh, he loves citronia fruit huh Ooh, we actually have a tea with citronia fruit so uh, that should be good for you uh, let's put something in that uh, will we'll make sure that he can still go to sleep even when drinking it and uh, I think that should actually be tea number nine the radiance plant it's very soothing and uh, should work nicely yep and uh, now he has another way to enjoy those fruits which is a uh, really good he's all chilled out now chillax and cool oh he has a secret from us everyone tells us to stay away from the forest but he knows a trick Ah, as long as you tell yourself nothing will happen, nothing will. Yeah, it's kind of like if you're superstitious, then things that seem strange might scare you earlier or something. Might might be something like that. But let's actually talk with him again. And uh, yeah, no one ever wants to hang out with him. Well, that that's a shame. But he has this game called Solve a Puzzle. Well, we're very good at this game. A number of identical cans are hanging from a tree. While all the cans here may look empty, one is actually filled with water. See if you can find it. When deducing your answer, ignore the weight of each string and stick. So, uh, this is actually pretty interesting. What we can see is that this first uh, branch here, uh, this side is very close to it, whereas this whole side is way on the other side. That means that this left side must be heavier than this right side, uh, because else it would be tipping over more into the, in the favor of the right side. So we can already deduce that it's not going to be any of these four. So let's uh, move uh, closer now, and we can actually see that this branch here is also evenly divided. One side has A and the other side has B, C and D. Yeah, so A alone is just as heavy as these three, which must mean that A is the heaviest bucket, uh, which also means, or can, which also means that it's the one that has the water in it. This should quite easily. Trick. And there ah, we have it. Wonderful. So yeah, A must be the heaviest. So yeah, it was too easy for us. But yeah, you are just a kid. So uh, we'll talk with some grown-ups for some more tough puzzles if we uh, 
went. Now let's uh, head to that gate so we can grab our photo scrap and then not waste any time. We don't want it to blow away, but meanwhile, somewhere else. Hmm. He comes to town fairly often. Oh, yeah. He takes a monetary express for free when he wants, huh? Oh, okay, so Mr. Beluga, huh? He's always with with Sam. That must be Sammy, the hippie in the conductor outfit. Mm, and having a go at him. Yep, that definitely sounds like Beluga. But he's searching for something. Pretty special if he, he can't buy it. That, that must be true. Mm, but Chalmy isn't really convinced. Oh, works from the headquarters. His alibi checks out. Hmm. Oh, they they got their suspect, huh? He he knows the case. Hmm. Interesting. But uh, apparently, Chummy likes uh, the chase of it. He likes confronting someone in front of uh, an audience. So. Uh, he just tells everyone to gather up the suspects, which, uh, okay, well, I guess uh, that's just the way it's gonna be then, isn't it? Um, actually, I want uh, Marina to get thirsty, so hold on just a moment. Uh, I don't know who thought it was a good idea to just make them get thirsty at random times but it is annoying just having to walk back and forth for m five minutes just to get someone thirsty but uh, she has a cold and uh, she needs some ingredients but we actually know the ingredients for the tea so I think uh, we can make her something good for her cold so let's see here how about giving her tea number four that should do this trick. So yeah, she smiles widely and uh, she's all cheerful again. It's great, good. I'm glad that solved it uh, for her and uh, she's actually gonna make it for her dad because yeah, the garlic fumes uh, probably aren't the greatest. Now, now let's head to the left. And uh, on top of the gate, we have a photo scrap. Yep, what lies beyond the pot? Um, uh, I, I guess so. Hmm, no wonder people would think, but yeah, I, I guess so. But I mean, it is just a forest, honestly. But, well, we found the last piece of the photograph, so let's see if we can piece them together. And of course, that's going to be a puzzle. Puzzle 160, the torn photo. Now, uh, Professor Layton and Luke have finally hunted down all 16 pieces of that peculiar photo. Reassemble the pieces to reveal the contents of the image. Rotate the piece by touching a side and spinning it around. Be careful not to reassemble the picture upside down. Which, uh, yeah, you, you could do that and that, that wouldn't really uh, be all that fun, now, would it? Let's uh, just see if we can avoid doing that. Um, there we go, those slot in together quite nicely uh, how about oh how about this one next does that work oh yeah that that fits too that fits too um, and then this is another corner piece so good we're making good progress now this one should be able to slot in around this edge there and uh, this one right underneath it yeah that works that works very nicely Let's see, what piece next? I guess uh, we should do our next corner piece here. And then uh, we have, of course, you know, this is going to be the last corner piece. So we already know we can put that right over there. Then uh, this is probably a bottom piece as well as this one. Although, should it be this way around or the other way around? Um, this looks a bit better to me, yeah. Um, I think I want to place come on sometimes it won't really rotate when you want to rotate Which can be a little bit annoying, but okay. We're uh, finally there or we're getting close to being there So just the final few pieces If we rotate that does that even fit? I don't think that fits properly at all um, Maybe here no No, that that doesn't didn't quite look quite right there we go that looks right 
So now upside down. There we go. And the final piece. What? No, I didn't mean to take that one out. Ah, final piece. Does that look good? I think so. Let's submit. Just leave it to me. Piece of cake. And there we go. But what what is it a picture of? Well, that's a good question. Hmm, that pieces it together. So, uh, let's take a look at it. I mean, there are a lot of rips still in it, so it's a bit hard to uh, make out. But it seems to be the Elysian box itself. And, well, the box looks like the top of the fountain. Yep, it's that same usual symbolum. The goat guy. Hmm. I, I guess the box did... Or perhaps it didn't, you know. It could still be that there's a murderer. But, uh... Yeah, okay. So we're gonna show off the photo and, uh... See if we can jog someone's memory and... What? It blew away one of the photo pieces. Ah, oh, Luke. And now the emblem... <sighs> Wow, yeah, that, that doesn't uh, look like anything, Luke. Come on. <sighs> well, let's uh, paste them down and make sure we don't lose even more. But we do solve mystery number three, the torn photograph. When reconstructed, the photograph depicts the Elysian box. On the lid of the box is an ominous looking goat, which seems appropriate, given the box's sinister reputation. And we also get a new mystery. The goat emblem. A large ominous symbol in the shape of a goat's head decorates the top of the Elysian box. This same symbol can be spotted in the town of Falsense. What connection exists between the box and the town? A very good question. But I guess so we'll have to continue our investigation in town. And well, I will be doing that next time. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you want to see more of them, please do consider subscribing. And maybe leave a like down below on the video if you enjoyed it. And I will see you all in the next one.